coming up in this episode of our Total War Attila Picts campaign. I have to finish off these stupid Caledonians. Are you raiding me? Raiding. We are being raided. Freaking Caledonian dogs. These Caledonians. I mean, what's that guy's name? Sitor? Something like that. What's your name? Preto? What's your, like, diplomatic stance? Do people think you're a piece of crap? Reliable and loyal. We signed a peace treaty, USOB. And now you're raiding me. Yeah, and then we'll go down and we're gonna have to mess up these clowns. And, oh, yeah, you might have to get messed up. I might just have to send Andy out to whoop his butt. Oh, you guys are dead. You done. You are done, man. Oh, uh, yeah, you're done. I'm going to commit genocide on you. You are the last of your people. I should have chased you down when I had the chance. You're so dead. I think you got a 20 stack? When did that happen? And let's take out. Declare war. Bring it, you pieces of crap. I should have burned the Caledonians to the ground when I had the chance. These are Preto's men. Dead. By my hand. Horse and man alike. Preto, you will regret having ever raided my territory. You fool. Ah, Rome, the eternal city. I have seen the end of days. Years from now, men will say, Here began the fall of Rome. Y'all must have forgot. Unite the clans here. Back in your life, guys, with more Total War Attila. This is episode 3 of our PIX campaign. I quote Roy Jones Jr. Because it's, by the time you see this, it's been two weeks since we saw actual campaign action. Last week, I brought you a belated episode 0. Supposed to do those at the start of the series, but I was so excited to play uh, TWA here, Total War Attila, that... Um, that I, I forgot about it. I just skipped it and figured I'd get to it later. Uh, which, thankfully, I have done. So now every series I've started has had an episode zero, which I like. We introduce you to the game, uh, to the, you know, the, the goals of our whatever campaign of the series we're doing. Uh, for this one, goal is Unite Britannia. There are six cities uh, between these two islands. We have these three in the south. I have no idea what the deal is down here at Carinium, Londinium, and Camelodunum. Um, we've got three under our belts. Aboricum took that from the Romans. Ildon took that from these Caledonian dogs up here who are now camping in our hood and our capital. Tuasis. Uh, and then we got Lindum, Saguntium, Oblana. Problem is, I'm not sure we are going to be getting to a battle this episode. We just took Aboricum, public order, uh, sanitation both in rough shape and you know what the romans have held this so long that uh, uh celtic paganism needs to get boosted up too uh we also we sacked this as well as not sacked it we looted and occupied so the funds are low the city's unhappy but we got more more bank get rich get paid you know what i'm saying um Ildon, still in rough shape we got a second army here it's helping with public order. Let's have a look at public order here, actually. Yeah, I mean, if we make that army bigger, that'll help. But, I mean, our, our income per turn is pretty low. Like, I want to raise an army here, but it's just going to hurt us. Yeah, we're 92 turns away from a public order issue. And the, you know, some of these things will help out, uh, you know, more buildings we do. Military presence is helping out. Actually, if we make this army bigger, that might help. This is all one region. Um, so having armies in this region, Ablana, Ildon, and Tuasis, might take care of itself. This is another region down here uh, where Aboricum is. Uh, so we do get a military presence bonus here, a big one, because we got that hefty 20-stack uh, army. But uh, we're five turns away from Rebellion, so there's no way I can move King Andy. So let's take a look at where we stand. We got King Andy. 
stuck for the moment in a Boracum. We got spears we can upgrade, but we ain't going to do that yet. Uh, we get units we can replenish. Uh, good line of wood runners who I adore. Uh, we got these Celtic bows. We've got uh, cavalry raiders who I think we're on the path to upgrading. Lots of experienced troops here. And we've got this mercenary honor guard. Normally these, the upkeep on these over here is like a thousand. Somehow we got it down to 255. I don't know what the trick is. Maybe because it's a mercenary Celtic onager? I don't know. Uh, normally I'd disband it, but we're keeping it in the army until we have to move south, uh, I think. Uh, we can use an extra 200 per turn. Can I recruit one here? Uh, not recruit. Uh, can I, is there a mercenary one I can get if I were to... No, there's not. Hmm. But we can build them up here now, right? Hmm. I wonder if we moved you up to two aces. How far away is Rebellion here? 92 turns. All right, well, let's let's get you in Ready for two aces and see if that's changed. Yeah, 19. 92 here. So, yeah, let's see if you can recruit an onager of your own. I don't know what I'm doing. Guys, it's been a little while since I played an actual campaign mode, so apologies. Uh, can we recruit? No, we can't recruit. I thought I built a freaking woodcutter. Woodcarver. Oh, it's two turns away. Okay, faux show. Uh, where would we rather have a rebellion? I guess we don't want it all the way in the north. We'll leave it here. Hopefully, by the time we get to 19 turns, that is not an issue. So over here in our event messages, having a good winter. That's good. Uh, that means less attrition, but all our armies are in the city. These guys would be taking some attrition, though. They should encamp. Development community property in... One of our spots has to be a Boracum. Yeah, community property. Cool. Uh, we do have some repairs to do here. And then uh, I could use some advice, guys, on, on what what to go with next. I think the granary is a safe bet. We got the cash to do that? Yeah, screw it. Uh, granary will put us in good shape. Let's do it. How much are these repairs? Oh, I can't repair. 680. And I can only convert. We gotta save some money here, guys. Yeah, let's save. Let's save the F up. Uh, try and lower some of our costs. Screw it. Let's get rid of this honker. Hopefully we don't need him for a turn. And as much as I hate doing this, we're gonna combine some... Well, get lost, Steam. I'm gonna combine these woodrunners. There we go. Uh, yeah, that'll be better for us. Okay. Um, we had a decisive victory here at the Battle of Aboracum. We have triumphed over the enemy. The now, uh, what's the term? Flaccid King Andy beat Firmus, his arch enemy. Um, we took care of business. Uh, so the question I posed to you guys at the end of last episode is where to go next. Lindum. Seguntium. At the moment, we can't go anywhere. We got problems in our cities. So uh, that question is still up in the air and probably will be at the end of this episode. So let me know what y'all are thinking. Rank gained. King Andy. Nice. Did we already upgrade the man? It seems like we did. Uh, military traditions. I think we did that last episode too. Looted. Occupied. Done. We are all up to date. Uh, so we've got the two armies on the go. And uh, guys, I think uh, we can just call an end to this turn unless we need to put a governor uh, in here. Yes, an edict for Sedjavax. I believe we threw him into a what's the word? gubernatorial role here. Uh, I don't think. Uh, these are our two sons. We got them both as governors, eh? Who, who's leading our armies? It's King Andy and uh, Akuchios, I think. And by the way, we are attempting to adopt the Olemri. That c costs 60 personal influence, and King Andy's got 64. Olemri's got 9 of his own. So if this fails, we lose that 60 influence and we lose control. So that's a huge thing. Our power is not where we want it to be. We want it to be right in this zone here. Actually, this one's pretty good. Yeah. Alright, I'm happy to stay in this one. 55 to 60. I think that's what that one is. Uh, okay. Let's, um,. Let's throw up that, why do I always do that, guys? Let's throw up a um, construction cost bonus here, because that's, that's the main focus there. And we'll end this turn. Did we successfully adopt the Olamry? Oh, 
I do the told with the overlong talk, preferring the axe's edge as an argument. So listen, and then I create. Vosenios, you want hair for more attacks? Is that your hair? You know what? I'm not nuts about that right now. I don't want to make crazy friendships with you guys. If you give me like a thousand. Yeah, you're not going to do that. What about a military alliance? Because that, honestly, uh, if we don't have to take them out, we won't. Uh, we just have to beat them to Seguntium because we need a port city. And I have no idea what's going on. I can't really done them down here. So let's see if they'll take this. I'll give away my, my crappy daughter. I offer this in the name of I don't want people. your money, son. Let this be a sign of goodwill. Lucenio, well, shut your bloody mouth, my friend. I want military alliance. And uh, how about this? I'll just come right back at you and see what you think. What else can we give you? Yeah, let's throw that in there. Our warriors will trouble neither man nor beast in your land. Your women? I cannot promise that. Military alliance on its own. Not that high. What if we give him a daughter? I know we've tried this before, but we'll see if he comes back at me. Our no warriors will trouble neither man nor beast. Oh, did we go? Do your women? I cannot promise that. You just said that, dude. You know, I don't know what to do. Are we gonna go take these guys out eventually? Or do we want to make them our friends? Because if we can get a military alliance with them, then we achieve some of our victory goals. You know what? I'm going to deny this. And we'll talk in the future, Vosenios. Oh, there they go. In the winter, too. The Caledonians taking some attrition. Those guys are going to be in trouble. Hopefully, we don't have to fight them. Hopefully, we can get them on our side. Bring them in as allies to help us take on these Roman pigs. The only people we are currently at war with. By the way, guys... Last episode, kind of ran away from me. Oh, into the fold. Boom! That is sick. Power, respectable. Control doing good. Dominion, we need to improve. But I mean, I guess we just spent 50. But somehow he ended up with 50 adherents on this turn, so. Boom. The Olamri is a member of our family. Oh, twice, I guess. Balance of power. Up? Up? Wasn't it 59? Oh, that's power, power. Sedge slides into the companion office. We'll start winning him some uh, personal influence so he can get himself a wife. Food shortage. Ooh. Rally field. You're going to turn into artisan. You're going to turn into town center. And you're going to turn into... Jeez, I think we may have to demolish this thing. Uh, and build some farms here, yeah, because we got no, no population surplus. Yeah, let's dismantle you. We got some cash in the bank, so maybe we repair. Convert? Why would we repair? I say we just wait until we can afford the conversion. Uh, 1500, which, oh no. We must rebuild first. I wonder if we just let it go up slowly. Hmm. Well, let's repair that. And we'll get to you next turn. Uh, and then in our other cities, Ildon doing okay down here, I think. We're one turn away from a wood carver and two oasis, and Ildon's in good shape. We're slowly building up a little population surplus in the region. Um, yeah, good news all around. And then public order starting to stabilize, I hope. 19 turns till rebellion, yuck. 46 turns. Ooh, this, this is getting worse. And 46. Huh. Alright, nothing we can really do here. Um, I say we end another turn. Technology? Coming along. Diplomacy, there's not much we can do. We don't have that many people that we're in contact with. We're friends with the Jutes. Um, and things are getting better with the Franks. You know what, maybe we send a little cash the away to the Franks. Me listen to you, but do not pass the day in words without merit. Um, by the way, if you just try and give them something, you have to choose one of these gift options. But if you offer, say, arrange marriage, and I give them that, even if he's not interested, then I go payments and I'll offer you 300. You can give them, you can choose exactly what you're going to give them as a gift. 
Uh, I want to bring these guys into uh, the fold. Uh, they, they trade with Rome, but honestly, I don't think they're buddies with Rome. Um, I don't know how to check that. Yeah, deteriorating, so we want these guys on our side in the future. And let's see how the Jutes feel about us. We're buddies. They like us. What do they like about us? Oh yeah, because they hate Rome. Uh, let's uh, let's offer a. Greetings, um... friend. I've called for good ale to ease your throat and ha. Ah, Ooh, right. how does he feel about that? That's not too bad. Points. And a non-aggression pact. Boom. All praise to glory, the gods. glory. We have found a wife for our heir, Cam. There he is. Somehow he dropped to this other side of this thing. I don't know what the deal is there. He's definitely the oldest child we got, right? Yeah. Why is he on the, all the way on the left? That's so bizarre. Uh, well, he's got a wife now, Gunvor, and she's pretty, pretty good. Personal influence up. Authority up. Cam is becoming a man among men. I want to get him onto the battlefield at some point. Uh, but we uh, it's going to take us a little while to get there. And we have the old Amri in our family now. He has no, not much personal influence of his own, but he's going to build it up with time. Same with Sedge and uh, the daughter, slowly working it up. So maybe we could use her to bring in, you know, Casicos or Acutios or Dummy here. Um, once she gets to, I think she has to get to 20. We'll see. Um, I think you are going to stay put there, my brother. Um, our income's going up per turn. Aboracum. Now, oh, another turn to dismantle. I really want to build farms there, but uh, we're going to have to wait a turn. Yeah. So let's call an end to this one, guys. Oh, man. Lindum's been sacked. I missed that. The Jutes have taken Lindum. I guess that makes our next target pretty clear. Uh, we have to beat the Abdanians to Sagantium. I'm wondering how soon. Are you raiding me? Are you raiding Rome? Freaking Caledonian dogs. Oh, yeah, you might have to get messed up there. What's that guy's name? Setor? Something like that. I might just have to send Andy out to whoop his butt. Raiding. We are being raided. Oh, you guys are dead. You're so dead. Have they got a 20 stack? When did that happen? I mean, they're, they're not good troops. We should be able to own them. We only got an 18 stack. Well, let's see what kind of mercenaries are out there and available for us to go tear them up with. Nothing too good. It's a light melee cap. I do like the, the warband. I mean, they're not that good, but they have throwing axes. Well, maybe we just recruit. Oh, no recruitment options. Ha, <laughs> that sucks. And maybe we'll start moving you down, my brother, uh, to Aldon. What are we, we're, how many turns away from Rebellion? 45. 45, so it doesn't seem to matter where he is. Let's move him down to Aldon. Uh, he can recruit some, some dudes, and we can start, maybe we'll have to take, oh, Celtic archers, those are new. Intriguing, and we can build the Onager here now. Cool. Uh, I don't feel so bad about getting rid of our other one. And these guys have spear wall. We get some nice troops available. Look at the upkeep. That's so good. We'll definitely take some of these archers. Whoa, I didn't need to do that. Yeah, guys, so the last episode got a little long on me. Uh, apologies for that. Um, let's go with two. <sighs> the cost and the upkeep so bad. Whatever, we'll get one, one thing of horse in here. Yeah, and then we'll go down and we're going to have to mess up these clowns and Andy you cannot recruit so we'll wait a turn maybe we'll upgrade these spears so their current their current upkeep is 132 I think they upgrade into I think they upgrade into these guys level 175 so that's not so bad uh, so let's definitely do that upgrade sometimes when you guys do an upgrade the upkeep just skyrockets and all of a sudden your income is just screwed so let's retrain you Celtic Spears, 172. So how come I can't, I wonder why I can't build anything here, I guess. I guess it's because this city's such a mess. 
So that's a construction site now, and we can build a farmstead on it. I think that's the wise choice. That's going to take two turns. We'll have the granary and our, uh, what's it called, sanitation sorted out in no time. And then repair cost is 18, so let's just do that. Conversion cost, 1800. So we should be there in two, two three turns. Uh, yeah, we might do that one first. We'll see. We shall see. Yeah, I think you need uh, whatever the city center is, the Civitas, or we call it, what do we call it, town? Berg? Hill Fort? <laughs> uh, so whenever we get this, I think we'll have access to recruiting a bunch of troops. Uh, but for the time being, guys, I'm feeling good about where we're at. What, what setup do I have here? Resettlement, so construction is cheaper. You know, I think we're going to move on to something that's going to help us more uh, in this. So we've got recruitment costs and a boost to Celtic Paganism, but we're doing pretty good with Celtic Paganism up in the north here. Public order up from Celtic Paganism and morale training plus 10. You know what? That might be the way to go. I mean, this one's pretty good, but yeah, let's go with that for now. We'll earn we'll earn some uh, some experience on the actual battlefield, and when we can, we need a freaking granary or something here or here. I don't know how we're going to afford that. Yeah, we'll get there. Maybe uh, maybe we'll have to take a blunder. Sedgevax, rank up. Nice. Where are you, brother? Sedge. What you got? Two new skills. Boom. Um, I still don't get that. His loyalty just... Oh, and we have a new companion. Artist? Yeah, that's probably the way to go. Unless we want to earn him some, like, ridiculous personal influence. I mean, we need the public order. Five is a huge deal, so we'll bring that in next turn. Uh, we got to take the wolf, and then where to go from here? He's going to be a governor, so Brethid is a good one. The raven is a good one. You know what? We'll take Brethid. We'll get him up there. And let's see how we're doing. Any worries about uh, loyalty? 10 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 6 out of 10. But we'll get you up there. And these guys all... Oh no, Akuchios is doing pretty good. Um, Alright guys, feeling good about this. Uh, next turn, maybe we go and beat the snot out of these Caledonians. Uh, not too much time left in this episode, so we'll have to get there quick. I'll call an end of this turn. We'll see if we can kind of converge both armies down there. Uh, when the time comes. I have to hire a couple of things. And mercenaries, just, I do not want them messing around. Oh! And Saguntium's been raised. Man! Uniting Britannia is getting easier. Only eight cities now. Uh, we're gonna have to take out the Jutes there at some point at Lindum. Uh, too bad we just signed a non-aggression pact with them. Oh, come on. And when, didn't we already have this? Good lord. Lord? Heavens no. Hashtag consumption. Toasis is getting messed up by disease. I don't know, where, where do we build a, a granary here? How do we build a granary in this this neck of the woods? I don't know, what do we get rid of? These are all level two things. Well, we're getting there. A couple turns of personal growth. You know what, maybe we switch back to this growth thing. I just did it. Yeah, leave it there, we'll keep growing, and then we'll be able to build a granary down there. I can't believe that got raised. Uh, since the latest patch of the game, things are not getting just burned to the ground like they were before. So let's see, can we reach... Oh, we can definitely reach. Uh, do you want to hire any mercenaries? Would that be overkill? So they got a 20 stack of all, like, entry-level troops, and not... Look at every unit is at a lower strength. And then we got 18 plus 7... Not bad. And we're going to hire two mercenaries right now. Uh, you guys have favorites here? What do we need more of? You know what? I like having troops I can just throw into the mix. Uh, like some meat shield type troops. Alright, we'll take two of you guys and we'll just throw you into the fight. It'll be a little hammer and anvil thing. We'll use you guys to stick the enemy so we can come around with the, uh, the cav. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's make that higher. Let's move you guys close. These Caledonians, I mean, what's your name? Preto? 
What's your, what's your, like, diplomatic stance? Do people think you're a piece of crap? Reliable and loyal. We signed a peace treaty, USOB. And now you're raiding me. Ah, uh, yeah. You're done. I'm going to commit genocide on you. You are the last of your people. I should have chased you down when I had the chance. Before we go into battle, actually, I should have thought about this last turn. Would it be useful to change any of these up? Armor? Public order. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to leave you with public order. I'll give you that. That's going to take a turn to kick in, but who cares? And let's take out... Declare war! Bring it, you pieces of crap. I should have burned the Caledonians to the ground when I had the chance. Oh, this is an act of treachery. Turns remaining, too. So apparently, this is an act of treachery and is condemned by all factions. You, we made a peace treaty and you're raiding me. Uh, I consider that treachery. I don't care. King Andy's 59. If his trustworthiness here on uh, the left here goes down, I ain't too worried about it. Dude's gonna die soon, so let's stab these Caledonians in the back if that's what the world's gonna consider it, because they have already betrayed us. Let's get it on like Donkey Kong. Oh, you run. You are such a little bitch. Sorry, I don't like swearing on my channel, but... Battle! We take on these Caledonian pieces of crap. Yeah, all tier 1 troops. So the goal, kill Preto. Maybe flank around with our Cav. We kill him, this whole army will collapse. Will Night Attack help us here? No, it will definitely make things worse. Because we don't get to use our second army. Alright, you done. You are done, man. So my, my tactic, I think, guys, is to use those mercenary troops we hired. Oh yeah, open battlefield. This will be good. And we get guerrilla deployment. So do they. Actually, you know what? I have not seen that come into effect yet. I wonder if we need to be protective against guerrilla deployment. I can't tell based on these stripes whether we have the high ground or they have the high ground. I mean, it would logically be them up here where it's lighter. So maybe we line the cav up back here and we just do a suicide charge on... Uh, Maybe we put our whole... Oh, what is this? This does not look like Britain. This looks like the steps. Start deployment, baby. Where is their king? Uh, yeah, we'll just go until the end of this battle. I can't see the king there. He'd be a sword unit. Preto. There he is. Um, yeah, I wonder... Oh, we don't have room. I thought we have more space. Yeah. Um. Alright, guys. Maybe we line up one unit up front here. And I'm, I'm going to bunch them tighter than I did in that episode zero. So we get you guys up front. We get spears. Maybe we put one on, on each flank to protect against their uh, calves. Throw you in the spear wall. This is actually a fairly similar, you know, set of troops to what we bought last time. Uh, and then with you guys, we're gonna try and do a little sneak attack. I wonder if you can be hidden here. Oh no, you can't get that close, can you? Yeah. Yeah, we'll see what we can do with those guys. Uh, we'll throw heavy shot. I like flame shot, but heavy shot is probably best for assassinating in general. Throw you guys back here, and then the cav. Maybe one on each flank, and we'll throw the others around the side to help mess up. The, all the veterans we'll throw around here to help mess up the enemy. I wonder if you guys would be hidden over here. Almost definitely not. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. So, Andy, group one. Spear. Give me a sec, guys. I'm going to get us all set up here. All right, guys, we are ready to go with this epic battle. The Caledonians will die at our hands. So move this army up like a boss. You know, if you highlight everything and use your arrow keys, you can move them up in formation. Uh, they have not started moving. Not a moment too soon. Where are reinforcements coming from? Oh, yeah, they are totally repositioning to respond to this threat. Um, and then 
reinforcements coming from over here? No, coming from the back. Where are you guys at? Am I crazy? Oh no, re okay, reinforcements coming from over here. Those are our existing troops. Right, we'll move you guys up as quick as we can. We'll try and set up a second flank. And you know what? Maybe then we'll slow you guys down. Uh, the major force. And we'll see how they respond. Oh man. They're sending a few units around. But we can really... This is not too bad. We outnumber them on this flank. Uh, unless they send the whole army back. I'm not too worried about it. They're moving the whole thing up. So let's go to our archers. We'll move you guys just ahead of the front line for now. You guys have decent range? Nah. Yeah, they're moving more troops back to respond to this threat. Uh, I'm a little worried here, guys. I do not want to get all of these veterans killed. Oh, they're moving off. Okay. We'll form back up. Make him respond to this, and maybe we can get our uh, second army in position on this hill. Nah, they're going to be a while. Man, you guys are way back here. Yeah, at least this cab we can get moved up here. I have to avoid getting distracted and failing to talk, guys. I seem to do that every freaking episode. Yeah, they have a whole group back here just to distract us from getting to Preto. Um, they've got all skirmishers up front. And they moved almost all their horse back. I'm wondering if it's worth it for us to move our horse up on this right flank and try and start picking away at them. Uh, these horse in episode zero, that battle I did, they seem to respond really well to drawing out like javelins and other weapons. Uh, I don't know how they'll do against bow fire. These guys think to use flame shot. Their whole army is repositioning. Oh, we got a chance to hit Pretel right here. Let's come down. Where's that second cab unit? These are the same units. Yeah, we don't have much of an advantage here on this flank, except that we're hitting them and they're not hitting us right now. Oh, these they're getting into us up here. That noise means we are at 35 minutes-ish of this battle. Um, oh, stay. Keep focused, dear dude. Keep focused. Let them run their horses straight into our spears. Keep picking away at Preto. Where are my, where are my archers? Move up. Hit them hard. And move up these wood runners to protect. Spears, y'all move up too. Oh, you're in spear wall. You don't like this formation, do you? The oh, they're moving the whole thing up. Unit has oh man, they're gonna hit us, aren't they? I just want to get straight into Preto. Let's move the whole thing up. Oh no, hold your line guys, hold your line, that whole army is coming. Get in the shield wall. Don't let them flank us here. Man, we gotta get these other troops down here. Where's King Andy? Get up here, bro. And throw a brace on somebody up here, you need to get in range. Man, this has got a small range, this special ability. I'm not allowed to do it here. This, no, he has not used it. Get closer, man. Hustle up to the line. Group 9, we need to hustle you guys into position. Hit a rear charge on these guys, come on. Yep, chase off these cav. Sorry guys, I'm trying to focus on talking. 
Let's uh, get some fire back on these archers and we'll go with flame shot. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll use that on whoever is back in the line here. Uh, where am I? Yeah, five. Number five. I have one unit of woodrunners that's taking a beating. Where are you guys at? I need to pull you back. Get these spears to fill the, the gap. Nice. Preto is dead. Let's uh, let's rally the troops. Let's kill them on this flank. Keep chasing off these archers. Keep chasing off these. All right, this battle is over. What did I tell you guys? When you get tier one troops, all you have to do is kill the general, and this battle is won. Where's my second unit? Boom. The battle is over. Truly, a victorious day for us. We have obliterated these Caledonians. I, guys, I'm thinking. We should try and chase down the rest of their troops. I'm not letting anybody get away. Uh, so I may cut this part of the battle, but what I want to do is complete the utter, total annihilation of these units. You know, if we leave this many troops, uh, these guys will be back. So, I'm just going to carry on. Hustle yo butts. We will not let these dogs flee from this battle. Yeah, let's charge them down. You guys just stay and put. Let's put you in melee mode. Let you run down some troops. Now, you go get those guys. Yeah, see, this is why cavalry is freaking valuable as heck. At the very least, they can catch the enemy long enough for your other troops to get into the battle. Yeah, at the very least, guys, we want to chase them to the edge of the battlefield. Anybody escape this way? Yeah, they're general. Oh, we're, we're hounding him. Just run him down like dogs. Wrecking him. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that unit's gone, though. Chase him to the edges of the map. Cinematic. Watch this. You're dead! You're dead, I tell you! King Andy, run these dudes down. Speaking of obliterated, look at this. Look at uh, this. These are Preto's men. Dead. By my hand. Horse and man alike. Preto. You will regret having ever raided my territory. You fool. He's somewhere around here. There, decisive victory. There can be no doubt. Yeah, that is much better, guys. I hate uh, having to do all that busy work at the end of the battle, but I also do not like leaving them with any sort of units whatsoever. I guess we did leave some skirmishers. I wonder if these guys fleed. Fleed? Not a word. I wonder if these guys fled. How do you have 500 men remaining? I thought we'd chase down every last one of you guys. Woodrunners, some of these Woodrunner units did some work. Uh, you guys sucked, but maybe you weren't in the front lines. Lot, oh man, look at the kills for them. Look at these two units. It really, I guess, depends on deployment um, more than anything. Archers were blah, as usual. Um, horses also did some work. You know what? Hit or miss, but uh, I guess if you don't get the right unit into the right position, they can't get kills, but clearly if you can get these guys in the right position, they can take care of business. King Andy, take take his head off. He didn't survive. They survived Mo foes. God dang. Um Kill him. Nah, take him on. Is that all? On the move, lads. So how many what you got left, dude? We have time to finish this battle this turn. Ready for battle. Uh, guys, I wanted a short one, so uh, and I've already gone over my, my personal limit. So guys, we are going to finish the job with them next time. They got some men left, guys. Uh, we are going to have to take down Captain Divitiakos next time. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, I am Unite the Clans, bringing you episode 3 of our Picts campaign in Total War Attila. Love you guys for tuning in and hit me up with advice on where to go from that, uh, from here. The one thing we know for sure is we will chase those Caledonian dogs to the end of the earth. Um, I will see y'all in the very next episode.